What's up guys, what's up Habibis? It's Tony here again with a fantastic jungle tutorial. Epic, amazing jungle tutorial. You watch this five minutes, man, you, you become like a god. So let's recap again, early game. Before the game starts, think about what's gonna happen, right? You see that the enemy has a Enzo Baili Shrenta. They have a Silent with Punish. So you don't want to invade because if you invade you probably get cocked and they have uh, the hook guy right i mean bot lane but i don't know where he is so you don't want to invade plus my support went bot so look i check where the enemy jungler starts i see he uses punish so what do i do i i just steal it from him i yoink it and i also see that bot lane the enemy dual lane is there so i'm safe to do this and another bonus tip is that you see that the paintbrush is, uh, look, notice there I poked him, so that's going to come into play later. So you see that the paintbrush and their side lane Miyuet, they don't have any CC skills, so you, they can't do anything. I just take it for free. Here I help the mid lane clear because by doing that, then we have time to take the crab mid lane, which is super important because it gives 150 gold. Here, I know I can take this because, okay, yes, the bot lane might come, but they're kind of stupid. Yes, they're stupid, but this is still a game in Masters. And the the enemy jungler is very low HP because I poked him a minute earlier, so he can't come contest this. And you know, Paintbrush doesn't have a very good uh, pre-4 kind of gameplay. So yeah, we start the game with four buffs, man. In Masters, by the way. It's not like the enemies are stupid, but it's just, <laughs> this is what's gonna happen, right? We pick up a kill for free, Paintbrush was sleeping, but that can happen or not. 220, what happens? Take the buff. So we hide there because we know the Enzo or the jungler is there. We sit in that bush and we kill him because we know the buff is going to spawn. He's going to be greedy for it. Then we take the buff. Then we know the red buff is coming up. So we go there and uh, they, they can't really contest because I'm really ahead. So I just take it. They have to give it up. The enemy jungler is tilted, typing in chat, whatever. We take the dragon, we take the buffs, everyone is ahead. Our mid laner takes towers like crazy, so the rest of the game is a joke basically, right? And you know, look, in five minutes we killed four people. Like, I don't know, two of them were by accident, not really like a really good play, it was just the enemy playing bad. But that's it, man. Two kills. Basically, not a single shot was fired and the game ends. So this is the kind of style and the kind of thinking that I want you guys to keep remembering. I made, the, I made this video like yesterday as well, a very similar video of how to jungle. You have to apply these basics. And I know, I mean, I saw some comments on my, on my Bili Bili that they said, Whoa, why don't you gang? Why don't you help your side lanes? Yes, you have to help your side lanes. You have to gang. You have to at least their XP and gold, yes. But first, you have to do the fundamentals. I mean, the fundamentals are you have to do the buffs, you have to control the dragon, you have to counter jungle, you have to take the mid crab. These are the, you have to get them the rhythm right of doing this and the tempo. And then we can talk about more complex things and more complex gameplay. But hey, listen, for a game in Masters, not everyone is that great. But the elo is still kind of high. This is enough, man. This is enough to win, and this is enough to carry, and this is enough to win in, uh, I don't know, what was it, seven minutes, man. And it's not like the enemies picked bad heroes, or they were bad, right? They picked some pretty nasty heroes, but this is what happens, man. You want to use your jungle macro to carry the game, and then we can talk about micro and more specific things. But uh, this is the first thing you need to do, guys, and I didn't have a support either, so yeah. So to recap, do, do your goddamn buffs, counter jungle when you have time, do the mid crab, control the dragon, but make sure your gold is also keeping up with the enemy, that's the bare minimum, because if you're, you have low gold, you can't do anything, man. And at 220, the buffs are going to respawn, so control the buffs again. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.